Welcome to the 7th edition of the Swiss Campus TV. I'm your hostess, Audrey. At the beginning of the new semester of 2016, many events took place in Swiss. The three-week conference is an opportunity for parents to understand more about our school's education. On February the 25th, the three-week conferences were successfully held in the Swiss NYP and PYP. The three-way conference and PYP was held in the classroom. The parent, teacher, and student sat together to support the student's learning and celebrate his or her success. NYP's three-way conference was held in the gym. Teachers, parents, and students worked together to reflect on students' performance at school, set learning goals, and figure out ways to achieve these goals. By sharing information with parents, a strong partnership was built between parents and the school. So students are able to achieve more and take more initiative for their learning. It is the positive communication and respect that helps Swiss students succeed in school. On March 2nd, grade 4 students displayed their safari park projects. They invited some teachers to examine the works and asked for further guidance in order to finish their work. Grade 4 students are working in their self-chosen groups to take their initial designs and work as a team. They show their process work outside the classroom, and the teachers checked their zoo design and contributed some suggestions to improve. Through communication with teachers, they will improve the best features and make a brilliant design. This lineup from Carter, we're learning about area and measurements. We are planning a safari park and designing them. After that, we're going to print them on 3D printer. And we also wrote a report about 3D printer too. And we know how to design a safari park. Now we can place the animal in different places in our safari park. For example, lion, elephant, and hippo. Thank you for watching. This is our safari park. Now we are using 5 hectares to design a wonderful safari park. And we are using the lions, the poles, elephants, and galapagos toys to design the safari park. And we have toilets and lots of things. And we have stadium. And our safari park is wonderful and, and we think we can make it better. This, this is our, our safari park. park. This is the stadium. This is the animal hospitals. This is the main entrance. And this is our key of animals. And this is lion. Um, after the experts tell us how do we change our designs, um, we make it more better with our design and we have lots more ideas. On March the 3rd, grade 1 to 9 students from the Swiss swim team competed with the GOS International School swim team at a swim meet. Last Thursday, on the 3rd of March, the Swiss swim team competed against GOS International School at the Swiss swimming pool. Students from grade 1 to 9 all participated in the swim competition. Swiss swim team excelled at the swimming meet. And we look forward to seeing more awards from them in April's SciSac competition with three other international schools in Shenzhen. On March 3rd, the MLP Assembly about Literacy Month and Spirit Week was held in the Swiss Theatre. On March 3rd, the NYP Assembly about Literacy Month was held in the Swiss Theatre. Ms. Alfred introduced NYP students and teachers to Literacy Month and explained the Readathon. The purpose of the Readathon is raising money to build libraries in remote places. NYP volunteers will read to PIP students in the morning from 8 a.m. to 8.15 a.m. for the whole of Literacy Month. Other than this, Jerry Chung, the president of the Student Council, informed the NYP of Spirit Week and what will be happening on each day. Let's thank the Student Council for this fun and well-organized Spirit Week. On March 4th and March 5th, Swiss teachers attended an IB workshop. They reshaped their knowledge and understanding of teaching and learning. Swiss teachers participated in one of the IB workshops hosted on the campus. Professional development of faculty is integral to the work of IB schools, promoting lifelong learning and growing teachers professionally. 
Furthermore, it deepens our understanding as a school in relation to the IB philosophy and essential elements of the program. As international educators, teachers are forced to continually reshape their knowledge and understanding of teaching and learning. Teachers are assigned to six different groups with each focusing on a specific topic guided by a workshop leader. The two days, including a Sunday, turned out to be a rewarding experience for both teachers, the lecturers through effective communication and discussions. Last of all, let's watch the Swiss Big View video. Kevin captured some fantastic views from Shenzhen and the Swiss campus using his drone.